All right, welcome to this episode of my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are currently um, cleaning up all of the points of interest and side quests and everything like that in Velen before heading over to um, Novigrad, which is the next step in following series trail. Um, we've just collected all of the diagrams for the Griffin School gear and um, the last or the sixth of six pieces. Um, it's been an ongoing treasure hunt, but the... Uh, the last one was up, up in this um, castle here, uh, which was infected with both Andrega and Harpies. <laughs> so without any further ado, uh, let's keep going, okay? So there's this nearby point of interest that I saw on the map last episode, before I realized how long that episode had gone, and that I didn't have enough time to actually investigate it. This place just looks very pleasant. Granted, it is uh, about 1.16 in the morning. Oh, there's a monster nest here. That's what it is. Oh, it's some neckers. Okay. That was sloppy of me. Neckers surface here. Dig their way out. Micro Gakaton, Magdea, uh, Curious, Thread, Leather Scraps, Manuscript Page, Enhanced Dancing Star. Alright. Necker Heart, Necker Blood, Necker Eye, Skull, Crystallized Essence, Lesser, Peron Runestone, and Monster Egg. Come on, burn the... There we go. The Honeycomb. I think that's it for this point of interest. All right, what's next? Hmm. I think I'm going to take a, check out this point of interest, then this one. We're going to head down here and eventually end up on this island before crossing over and seeing what's over here. How's it going?
choked to death on three pounds. Sure. You say that every time I come through, yet you never deliver. So my silver sword is damaged and my health is damaged, so let's first address the silver sword. And next the health. <laughs> It's actually really pretty. Now we got a hidden treasure. It's guarded by a, a bilge hag. Level 18. But it's not giving me the um, the red skull, so it's saying I, it thinks that I can take it. Bilge Hag down uh, gave me a water essence venom extract to call water Water Hag Tooth. Key attached to a crumpled note and crumpled notes. I wonder if those are connected. <laughs> I always said Muskie was a clever pup. He understands more words than quite a few men. He could do all sorts of tricks. Sit, roll over, and if you give him a scrap of bacon, he'll even shake your hand. But today, why, he's outdone himself today. I look, and there's Muskie running in from the field carrying something in his mouth. I think maybe it's a hare, and I'll be able to whip up a stew, sell the fur. But no, it was a sack, all covered in blood, so no wonder he sniffed it out. I look inside, and inside there's a key, a little one, all engraved and ornamented, like it fits some fancy chest or box. So I think, maybe there's a treasure hidden hereabouts, and th that's what this key's for. So I think I'll go for a walk, see what I can see. If I find it, I swear to Militale, Muskie's gonna eat nothing but veal for the rest of his days. That blood on the sacks got me a bit worried, though. But I'll take a thick club with me, so if anything pops out of the bushes, it'll get a thumping. You don't live but once, so you might as well take some risks, I always say. Apparently that didn't work out so well for this person. Battlefield loot is somewhere here, and it's giving... The, the quest has a red skull, which is interesting. Um, oh, level 20. Follow the blood trail on, from the battlefield to the loot using your Witcher senses. Um, Geralt found a mutilated corpse which was carrying some notes. The blood which had soaked through the paper had not completely obscured the writing and made the Witcher all the more curious as to its contents. Uh, then it's the content of the, of the note. Alright, so let's heal up, just in case I have to make a hasty retreat. There's the chest. It's 
Farog, Runestone, Glyph of Axie, Steel Plates, Thread, Loon, uh, Cavalry Trousers. Interesting. I find it interesting how it gave that quest a red skull, but not the bilge hag that was um, guarding it. The loon is not as good as my current steel short sword. Okay. Uh, but this battle axe is actually better, so I'm going to equip the battle axe instead. And there we go. And what about these trousers? Are not as good as what I've currently got. So where to next? Next up is going to be... This thing, whatever it is. How you like that silver? Level 20 build tag, it says, is a red skull. So good to know I can take on a level 20 bilge hag. And I should heal. And repair my armor. Let's use two of these just to get it up decently high. There we go. And I hadn't reached my destination yet, so let's keep going. It's a hidden treasure with a bunch of drowners. Gonna heal up a little bit because those drowners swarmed me pretty bad. I got a little sloppy. It's on me. Ooh. 
Bloodstained key, bloodstained document, and dried fish. Uh, I've, dro I've stopped the bleeding. I need to collect my thoughts. I could go for help. There's a village not far. I can hear dogs barking, but people would see that I what uniform I wear. They'd ask what I was doing in the swamps. They'd figure it out. They'd take everything, maybe kill me. This is Velen, after all. I've lost a quart of blood, maybe more. If the wound is still clean come dawn, I should pull through. If uh, I'll leave at daylight. Maybe then the drowners won't attack. I'll bury the treasure and head to Novigrad. Should be able to find a decent man there to patch me up. Someone who won't ask questions, who won't care if you're a deserter. All that's left to me now is to pray that no one sees the tracks I left, that they don't follow the blood trail and find the treasure. But no one will come through here, I hope. Everything will be fine. Which is, you know... Hey, follow my tracks and blood to get treasure, if ever there was that statement put in writing. Alright, so let's follow the trail. A Perun runestone, emerald dust, headhunter, axeman's gauntlets, crystallized essence, cured leather. Excellent. Something... Oh, that's just more, like, blood trail. <laughs> All right, what's next on the docket? I remember there was a, a monster over here, a fork tail or a basilisk or something that drove me off because of its high level. I forget what level it was though, so let's uh, give it a shot and see if it's something we can take on now. see the monster circling in the sky anywhere at all here. Alright. Slightly bent key, unsent letter, and dried fish. Unsent letter. My dear papa, the wedding's over. It's done. I didn't... It didn't all go exactly like I'd imagined as a little girl, but, well, you always taught me to make the most of what I've got. We're traveling now, so I'll send this, I'll send this letter as soon as we arrive. I'll start with what I'm sure interests you the most, financial matters. As I'm sure you've noticed, a few crowns have gone missing from your luck box. Lock box. The cupboard's a couple silver plates lighter, and your jewelry box isn't near as full as it once was. I took it as my dowry. No doubt much less than you'd have given, but I'd, I, had I but found myself a worthy partner, but tough, that's, fun, that's life. Kurt, or as you like to call him, that good-for-nothing bare-arse lazybones, is now my husband, and your daughter's precious purity, which you cared about more than her feelings, tears, or pleadings, well, it's only a memory now. We'll soon arrive at our destination. Naturally, I won't tell you where exactly that is, just in case you get it in your head to come visit. Wherever it is, know that your silver will be enough to set up a nice home. That's important, because I'm expecting a child. Are you glad? I doubt it. You always said poor matches only produce mutts and scoundrels, so it's a good thing you'll never have to see this one. Your little girl, Jeanette. Oh, that's sad. Uh, find the treasure chest using your Witcher senses. Would it perchance be this treasure chest right here? Knight's Gauntlet's Master Venel. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the monster. Uh, and this is a, a red skull monster. What is it? The basilisk. I've taken on a basilisk. I'm bleeding. I need Quen to stop the bleeding. Ow! Okay, yes, I cannot take on that basilisk because it is quite strong. Let's get the heck away. And meditate because, ow!
Well, at least I got the uh, hidden treasure. So where to next? I think next I'm going to head over to this undiscovered location and see what it is. Hello, Roach. Really? I don't I don't look dead. Hello, Golem. Am I going the right way? I'm Oh yeah, I gotta go up and around. Or I could just go I could just swim across. Because Roach probably won't... Yeah, Roach won't go across there. You made it. It's an abandoned site. Alright, what kind of monsters or bandits or whatever do I have to clear out from here? Oh, just some drowners. Bastard. Oh shit. Try this again. Ugly bastard. Why is there still a drowner there? I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take a moment to meditate first of all. And I'm gonna to talk to this merchant here. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I'm gonna offload some stuff and I will see you on the other side. 
Alright, there we are. I've drained the merchant of all of his uh, coin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some chicken legs to give him more coin so I can sell him more stuff. Because that's uh, <laughs> how this works. All right, there we are, good to go. Farewell. And you know what? I'm gonna call an end to the episode here. You know the drill, click over there. Join me next time as we uh, explore more points of interest around Velen. See you then.